An Israeli company has unveiled a bionic man. The first of his kind, this one, is wireless. Meets Ismail. He goes about his day like any of us at the mall or at the gym. But there is one key difference. Ismail only has half a heart. The other half is a machine. Ismail is one of 26 million people worldwide living with heart failure. The heart transplant is really a good solution. If patient get heart transplant, he can live for 30 years, walk around, have good quality of life, don't need to, he can bath, can shower, can do everything. But it's very rare. You only have like 4,000 all over the world. Machines like this pump were designed as a stopgap solution, replace a heart until a patient can receive a transplant. But the supply of hearts cannot keep up with the demand, and the stop caps have become almost permanent solutions. The donations are very rare, so more and more people are walking around and stay forever with this pump. The problem with these pumps is that like any machine, it needs a power supply and a wire that comes out of the patient's chest to charge it. This is really, really restricting. Uh, to, to live with the cables and get out of your body need maintenance. You all the time need to keep it to keep it from getting infected. So once a day, they need to maintain that. They cannot shower. But Ismail can swim. He doesn't have a wire coming out of his chest. Instead, his heart can be charged wirelessly, the new design of an Israeli company. Michael Zilberschlag is an Israeli electrical engineer. To him, the problem was simply mechanics. And this replaced, really replaced the heart. This pump operated from internal controller and internal receiver of power, that all of that is all incorporated inside the body of the patient. So Zilberschlag's design uses a coil in the patient's chest that charges in the presence of the electromagnetic field generated by the vest. Of course, there's still a backup option, a wire in the side of the skull that could be used to charge the heart, the same connection used in cochlear implants and protected from infection the same way. Ismail is lucky. He has already found a donor and is scheduled to receive a new heart. But for millions of patients, a wireless machine might be their future. Ariel Levin Waldman, I24 News.